Welcome to my project. This is going to be a video about how the, me demonstrating how I went about building this project and the, what the final output looks like. So I'll start with the. I'll first go to the the repository where I hosted this application uh, where I uploaded all the files relating to this project. So you can see it's in this file and if you want to run it locally you will come and copy this link and clone it inside your exam um, folder on your local machine and you will have to uh, import the SQL file which is located over here and uh, inside the way I went about it was I defined my files and you can see all the files here and you see I have a folder called images which contains all the images related to this project and I have the includes uh, folder which contains uh, this is the database class this is the the class that is taking care of different functions that I'm using to view insert and delete and um, this one takes care of the the login for me and uh, apart from that I also have includes folder sorry I have the partials folder uh, which for reusability I uh, define my head my header my head tag and the side bar, bar and the top navigation bar and uh, aside from that I have the SQL containing the SQL file the database and uh, different files for doing different things uh, this system is uh, for to help a poultry management uh, for a startup poultry farm business to be able to record keeping track of eggs birds feed and employees as well as sales being done by the business and this project was also hosted on azure so you can go to it via the following link uh which we'll go to in a minute so the technologies i used included uh, html css javascript and php and the implemented functionalities include the fact that uh, the admin can create view edit and delete payroll records uh, egg records concerning eggs birds food consumption and the stock summary can be displayed for him to see so to run this again as i said you can uh, clone this repository and place it inside your ht docs assuming you have a WAMP or exam server local server running on your machine so let's go to the to the project to the system which is hosted online to see how it works so the first thing you notice is the admin login page so this one is secured in the sense that if you click login it will complain and then if you add something which is the missing but then if you do admin add the password without the username it will also tell you that the username is required but then if you type gibberish you will see the wrong data so you have to to enter it you have to to do the right thing so i'm going to the password for this one is admin and once you enter the system what you have to do is you get the welcome message hello admin and you can get this text that says you are logged in and basically what you can see is that you will be able to see the number of beds in the system the rate at which the, the birds are dying and the number of eggs total number of eggs available and the total number of employees available and you can also visualize the the payroll you can see i have the person called owner who is represented by this blue and this one accountant and you can see the respective salaries and you can also see the total wages and the total sales and you can see the remaining feed and the eggs left and uh, inside here you can also these links are for the summarizing for summarizing each category over here so if you go to feed you will be able to see feed stock summary and you can see 
this over here the same applies to the beds to give you the number of beds alive and the number of beds dead and again the same applies to this category so back to this here that's where you were saying like you can add delete uh, review and update everything in the database so this one i if i click here it's i set a date and add the number of eggs produced on that particular date and you see that it is added i can edit it to say 24 and it's it's 24 now i can also delete it and coming to the source i can do the same i can edit 180 can do 140 and you can see it here I can add let's say 10th number of X 20 and uh, revenue will say 400 and you will see that it has been added the same goes to purchase you can do the same thing here you again you can also come to the mortality to add and delete so you can edit to see temp here you can also then this one the, the, the validation was done also if you try to save without anything it will show you and the form will not submit so if you have to you have to choose the thing and this one will also complain because it doesn't allow empty inputs so you put 20 for instance and it will add the same goes to purchase feed purchased you can delete you can delete you can edit say 22 to 30 to 30 yeah and you can see it has been updated and for the consumption this one is special in the sense that um, i can assign an employee I can tell the employee who was responsible for record for doing making sure that the, this quantity was consumed and the equivalent price so you can do that you can do that for the consumption and for the payroll you can basically add the employee if you click the save to, to save it will complain because again form validation was done but then if I add someone else like James, say Rodriguez, whose phone number is say this one, and job is uh, safe uh, HR, for instance, and I say sir is 400. You can see the HR here, and you can also delete him if you like. Again, after you are done, if you come to the dashboard, now we have three employees. That's because we only have three employees recorded. And um, you can see the mortality rate has increased to 70% because um, we increased the mortality rate here. So if I deleted this one, you see that it will, it will decrease to 36.7. And this one, will, these ones will also be adjusting themselves according to what you type it, you insert in the database and um, yeah that's basically it once you are done you log out and you are taken back here to verify that it has worked if you try to access the dashboard it won't work so you only have to log in and you can't log in without having user credentials that are valid so uh, if I come to the files to talk about the codes I have uh, this uh, includes for the this action uh, has a class that defines all the functions related to insertion, view, uh, selecting, updating, and deleting. And um, I also have a JS for file, which is this one where I'm do doing the form validation. And other than that, I have different pages which are rendering the, the, the tables and everything that you see in the system. And I was doing some PHP unit testing earlier on. 
and the index which is responsible for the home page like the first page that you see once once you visit the the project the the management system and that's basically it um, thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it have a good time bye